So here recently, the Bitcoin client got updated, the default client, which is the Bitcoin QT wallet. And usually when these updates come out, it's kind of interesting. There's new things that come up, and it's kind of interesting just to see what comes out. And then, of course, update your client. So in this episode, I'm just going to give you guys a quick overview of what happened in that update. Now, the biggest thing that a lot of people have been talking about over the last few weeks since it's come out is that it changed the fee. Now, beforehand, the fee was 0 0.0005 bitcoins per transaction, no matter what transaction. Now, they lowered that to 0 0.0001. So not that big a deal. It's a you know five times lower ratio. Um, a lot of people are pretty excited about that because it makes you know the trading of bitcoins a lot more efficient because you're not paying out transaction fees, which is always pretty nice, right? Um, the next thing is there's a new progress board, progress bar, sorry. And this is what I find the most interesting. And it, it kind of just gives you an overview. So say, you know, you have a thousand blocks. It'll turn that into da 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 hours or, or you know weeks behind. So instead of just saying you're 700 blocks behind, it'll say you're three weeks, five days, and two hours behind, and five minutes behind the blockchain, which is kind of interesting. It gives people a more um, timely manner to what the blockchain is. Instead of just being blocks, it kind of gives it a time ratio that lets people really associate with it, you know, because if I tell someone, oh yeah, it's 10 blocks behind, most people want to know that's 100 minutes behind, but if I tell someone, oh yeah, it's an hour and 20 minutes behind, well, a lot, of people, a lot more people can associate with that. So that's pretty nice. I think that's just a nice little tweak to the um, wallet that's really going to make it innovative and really help the common person use the wallet. So thanks for watching.